Byrne, in a way, is a kind of musical godfather to this kind of indie community that we exist in. He's a really incredible collaborator, incredibly open to you know what I or we might be like, kind of thinking one way or the other. Really, just sort of offers himself in this, I think, pretty unique way. Let's decide on a spot so we can we both know where it is, and you're not trying to chase no. after me being irrational. Did I come in late on this this part? What is it like? You did, but only because we weren't really declaring where the beat was. We and then we found our way. Let's so let's get in there with the full band, and we'll take it from the top. We were kind of around Red Hot and loved the records, and we also, you know, grew up with um, records like No Alternative, and so it was, we were aware of, of, you know, Red Hot as an organization. Red Hot has this tremendous legacy if you look at all the records and all the people that have been on these records. It was a fun investigation for me to go back through the catalog and find some of this amazing music with David Byrne, Caetano Veloso, just an, an, an incredible history. So I was obviously really excited to be a part of, of the project. A lot of people are playing songs that they've never played before live because they were written for this record. And some of them are kind of hard. I'm definitely nervous. I haven't been sleeping that much. The idea of kind of just being thrown in your lap, hey, do you want to do a song with Dirty Projector? We haven't like played together a whole bunch, so I'm a little nervous. I'm always nervous, and no matter where we play it, tonight I'll be able to be myself. I gotta adapt, tone it up. There's a certain kind of twinkle just around certain things you hear of your whole life, and, and Radio City Music Hall for sure is one of those. Hey!